Hello, my name's Lisa Turner from Psychademy, and welcome to today's episode of Psychademy TV. In today's episode, we're going to be exploring the differences between traditional therapy and working as a spiritual practitioner. So in traditional psychotherapy or even other therapies, you've got this idea that there's a patient who probably has some problem that they want solved. And they go and see somebody who might be called a doctor or a therapist. Whereas, in, whereas when you're working as a spiritual practitioner, you have this idea there's a client and there's nothing wrong with them. You, they just need some help to become even more empowered and more evolved and to grow. So let's look at those differences. So whereas when you've got in traditional therapy, you've got a doctor who has the solution. A spiritual practitioner works as the client and, and the practitioner are equals. The client has all the resources they need, but they just may not have access to them. And the spiritual practitioner will have lots of tools and techniques and processes that will enable the client to access their own inner resources. In traditional therapy, the, the doctor or the therapist might ask questions like, why? Whereas a spiritual practitioner isn't interested in the why because that tends to give you more reasons, more excuses. Whereas, if a, whereas a spiritual practitioner asks questions like, how? How did you create that? And what this does is this finds the cause and the structure of the problem, which is much easier to change than look when you're looking just at the content. So we're not interested in what happened. We're interested in how did you do that so that you can create another process to get a different outcome. Whereas in traditional therapy, you'd have this idea that emotions are a problem or there's something, a sign that something's wrong and they need to be avoided. A spiritual practitioner looks at emotions as a sign, as feedback, where there's some learning or evolution to be gained. And emotions are something to be released from the past and to get the learnings from. Whereas you, so we look at the intention and purpose behind those emotions rather than just avoiding scenarios that would trigger those emotions. When you, look at, when you just try and avoid scenarios, actually that disempowers you and restricts you. When you're working as a spiritual practitioner and you've got those tools and techniques to release emotions, you don't need to avoid anything because the only time you'd need to avoid it is to avoid pain. Isn't it better to release the pain that that situation triggers so that you can handle many more situations even better? A therapist, traditional therapist, would work with the past, looking at traumatic events and exploring what happened in them, telling the story. Whereas a, a spiritual practitioner is much more interested in the present and the future and really only looks at the past if there's something that's holding the client back. So it looks at the past as the cause of a block that's in the present and we only go there just to release that block, not to go into the whole drama of the story. In fact, that even tends to reinforce the problem we've found. In fact, studies, scientific studies have demonstrated this too. And in traditional therapy, the process tends to be long and drawn out and is often agonizing for the client to continually relive those, those problem situations. As a spiritual practitioner, clients are often amazed and stunned at how quickly and rapidly they get the results they want. That's why I'm a spiritual practitioner. Do you want to be one too? Bye for now.